Hi, welcome to Back to Basics. Um, what we're gonna talk about today is place value and rounding. This is a skill that you'll pretty much need for the rest of your life. Doesn't matter what, if you're even in a math class or not, really rounding happens all the time. What we'll talk about first is place value because it's important to understand that before you can really understand what rounding is. Um, place value, when we're talking about a number, um, is talking about the position that that number is in and what value it holds. So um, most people are very familiar with ones, tens place, hundreds place, and so on. The more to the left that we go on the place value, the greater the value of that number, and the further to the right we go, the smaller the value of that place value or that number. So for example, if I had the digit five, if I had it and I had the digit five and it was in this place value versus this place value, that five is worth way less in this place value versus this place value. Um, so that's the basic idea of place value. The way that it also works, it kind of centralizes around the ones place. That's really where we started with our numbers is we started counting with one, two, three, and so on. We have um, the digits up to nine, and then once we get there um, and we are larger than nine, then we have to go into the tens place. So this is the tens and that's with an S at the end, and that's important, and I'll show you in a minute why that's important. Um, next over we have the hundreds place, and then the thousands place, and so on, and we can go on forever. There are our place values, honestly infinite place values going that way and this way. Now what's kind of cool is that if ones is our center, the rest of it on this side of it, if you know the left, you also know the right. Because where our decimal point and our ones place is, that's our center. Um, next comes the tenths place. And I point out tenths, T-H-S, anything to the right of the decimal point is going to have the ending T-H-S. Um, this next one here is the hundredths place. And as you might notice, tens, hundreds, tenths, hundredths. Um, so once, like I said, once you memorize the left, you know the right. Um, then we have the thousandths place, THS, and so on. Um, once you know your place value, that can help you with rounding. Um, let's say I have this number here. If I wanted to round it to the tens place, what I need to do first is I need to identify which number or which digit of this number is in the tenths place. So um, looking at place value, here's my decimal point, here's my ones place. I'm going to count from the ones place. You always start there. And then to the left of it, we've got the tens place. So if I'm rounding to the nearest tens, I'm going to try to find out which 10 is this closest to. Is it closest to 70 or is it closest to 80? Now, the way that you tell if you're not really sure is you look at the digit or the number that's next to it. So I always had, whenever I taught middle school, I had my students actually underline the place value that they were rounding to and point an arrow to the one next to it to show that that's what they're looking at. Um, now, I always, people had trouble figuring or remembering uh, what happens with them. If the number next to it is five or above, what that means is, is that that number's closest to the tens that is higher than the one that is there. And so I kind of told them, oh, five and above, they're bigger numbers, they're bully numbers, and they're gonna bump the other number up. Versus if it's a four or below, it's kind of a weakling, it's kind of a wuss, and honestly, they're, they're your friends, they're friendly, and they're not gonna mess with that number. They're just gonna kind of leave and say goodbye, and go. What I mean by that, and I'll show you with this example, is that, all right, six is the number next to it. Six is a bully number. It is a number, it's larger than five, and so what it's going to do, it's gonna bully this seven, and it'll bump it up to the next number. So the four is gonna stay the same. It wasn't touched by the bully, and it bumps the seven up to an eight, and then it, bullies are cowards, we know that. Bullies are all cowards. So it beat up that seven and then it runs away. It leaves. And so then we're gonna call that a zero because that it, the six is out of there. Everything else becomes zero as well. Now, if we have zeros after our decimal place, we don't have to write them. And so therefore, we don't. 
This number is closest or rounds up tens to 480. Now, um, I can round this same number, 476, to a different place value and I would get a different answer. So let's say I were rounding it to the tenths place. That means that I'm going to underline my tenths place, this is the one I'm looking at, and I'm going to be looking at the number to the right of it to see if it's a bully or not. Now you can see that it's two. A two is a friend number, this is not a bully. And so the two is just going to say, hey, number one, and then it's going to leave. It's going to leave. So this number, we always keep everything to the left, they're not touched by it. This number would round to 476, and then the one was left alone, and all the rest of these guys left. He brought his friends with him. Um, if I were doing to the thousands place, same thing. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to underline my thousands place. So we've got our ones, tenths, hundredths, thousands. So five is in the thousands place, and we're looking at the number next to it, that eight. And that eight, yep, he's a bully, so what he's gonna do is he's gonna beat up that five and he's gonna bump him up to a six. So this number is going to round to 476, and then leave everything to the left, and he's now gonna become a six, and again, those bullies are cowards, and he's gonna run away um, and take his friends with him. So this is just kind of a little bit, it's kind of a story. It's not really that five or six or seven or eight, they're not really bully numbers, but it's just a story to help you remember how to do it. And hopefully that helps you with rounding and learn how to deal with place value.